EDJ was hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. I ain't come to convince you or nobody. That Puff Daddy helped. He's sitting right there, OTD Snakes. <laughs> they there twerking and everything. TD Snakes right there. Pastor Gino Jennings spills the tea on why he never trusted TD Jakes, and the details are as juicy as they come. From loyalty concerns to questionable associations and a hint of scandalous integration of non-religious elements, Jennings dishes out the gossip with boldness. Let's dive into the drama surrounding loyalty concerns. According to Jennings, loyalty is the foundation of trust, and he wastes no time connecting the dots between Aaron's disloyalty in biblical times and what he perceives as a similar lack of commitment in T.D. Jakes. In the biblical context, Aaron, Moses' brother, is depicted as disloyal to God and Moses. Jennings emphasizes Moses' firm commitment to God and contrasts it with Aaron's supposed betrayal. This biblical backdrop sets the stage for the gossip, with Jennings insinuating that a lack of loyalty can have far-reaching consequences in matters of faith. Drawing parallels to T.D. Jakes, Jennings suggests that the contemporary bishop exhibits a similar pattern of disloyalty. The term pervert bishop adds a sensational touch to the accusations, implying a deviation from the expected norms of religious leadership. This choice of words raises eyebrows and stirs the imagination, leaving us curious about Jakes' alleged disloyalty. Jennings's use of the term pervert bishop suggests impropriety or a departure from moral standards, making the gossip surrounding Jake's even more interesting. Furthermore, the gossip gains momentum as Jennings positions himself as a figure of steadfast commitment to the truth. By comparing his steadfastness with the perceived disloyalty of T.D. Jake's, he creates a narrative that adds fuel to the speculative fire. Jennings dives into the gossip pool by shedding light on T.D. Jake's participation in events with secular figures. Jakes is hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. The mere mention of such settings adds a juicy layer to the narrative, implying a departure from the expected sanctity of religious leaders. The gossip-worthy detail here lies in the associations themselves. Jakes, a prominent religious figure engaging in events typically associated with secular culture, raises eyebrows. The imagery of a twerking party adds a touch of scandal, insinuating a clash between the sacred and the secular in Jakes's choices of social settings. This revelation implies a compromising stance on religious values and practices. Gino Jennings tells a narrative that suggests Jakes may be straying from the traditional boundaries set for religious leaders. It's not just about attending events, it's about the nature of those events. This choice of language invites us to form opinions about whether such associations align with the values typically associated with religious leadership. The gossip gains momentum as Jennings subtly questions the authenticity of Jakes's commitment to religious principles. By highlighting these questionable associations, he implies a potential conflict between Jakes's public religious persona and his private choices. It's a classic case of scandalous insinuations, leaving us curious about how much Jakes may compromise his religious values. In the world of religious gossip, the details matter. Jennings strategically uses this questionable association to spark interest and invite us to reflect on the implications of religious leaders mingling with secular figures in seemingly unconventional settings. The gossip surrounding T.D. Jakes takes on a life of its own, fueled by the vivid imagery painted by Jennings' revelations. Jennings doesn't hold back as he aims Jakes for what he perceives as a scandalous move, the integration of secular elements into the church's sacred space. The gossip begins with the mention of gospel singers collaborating with secular artists. It's not just about music, but the mingling of the holy and worldly, creating a buzz that sets religious circles abuzz with speculation. The scandalous touch lies in the implication that Jakes may deviate from traditional religious principles. Traditionally seen as bearers of spiritual messages, gospel singers collaborating with secular artists introduce an element of controversy. The use of the term secular adds a dash of sensationalism, suggesting a clash between sacred and profane within the confines of the church. Picture this, the solemn ambiance of a church disrupted by collaborations with secular artists. The gossip gains momentum as we imagine the unexpected fusion of the sacred and the secular, raising questions about the sanctity of religious spaces. The vivid imagery crafted by Jennings adds a layer of scandal, inviting listeners to consider the potential impact on the church's traditional values. The gossip about integrating secular elements implies a shift in the dynamics of religious practices. 
Jennings subtly questions whether Jakes is ushering in a new era where traditional boundaries between sacred and secular are blurred. The scandalous insinuation suggests that the church under Jakes's leadership may be undergoing a transformation that challenges established norms. Pastor Gino Jennings thrusts T.D. Jakes into the spotlight with a scandalous revelation, drawing parallels between Aaron's false proclamation in biblical times and his allegations against Jakes. The gossip mill is buzzing as Jennings critiques Jakes for potentially making proclamations that may deviate from true biblical teachings, casting doubt on the trustworthiness of Jakes's leadership. In the biblical context, Aaron, Moses' brother, makes a false proclamation associated with idol worship. Gossipy tongues wag as Jennings brings this ancient tale into the contemporary realm, suggesting that Jakes too might be making proclamations that stray from the authenticity of true biblical teachings. The scandalous implication here is that Jakes, like Aaron, might be leading his followers down a path veering away from the core tenets of faith. The gossip gains momentum as Jennings subtly questions the trustworthiness of Jakes's leadership. He highlights the false proclamation associated with idol worship and insinuates a potential parallel in Jakes's proclamations. This adds a juicy layer to the gossip and prompts listeners to wonder about the authenticity of the messages from Jakes's pulpit. The term false proclamation itself carries a scandalous undertone. It implies a deliberate act of misleading or diverting from the truth. This choice of words contributes to the gossipy nature of the revelation, suggesting that there may be more beneath the surface of Jakes' leadership than meets the eye. Jennings strategically weaves a narrative that fuels the gossip surrounding Jakes, questioning the alignment of his proclamations with true biblical teachings. The scandalous insinuation invites speculation about the potential consequences of following a leader whose declarations may not be firmly rooted in the authentic principles of the faith. By drawing parallels between the ancient biblical narrative and the contemporary religious landscape, Jennings adds a layer of interest to the gossip. We are left to wonder whether Jake's proclamations align with the true essence of biblical teaching or if they mirror Aaron's false pronouncements, contributing to the gossip mill's passion. In the realm of religious scandals, false proclamation allegations create ripples of speculation and uncertainty. Jennings' revelations add fuel to the fire of gossip, prompting discussions about the trustworthiness of T.D. Jakes' leadership and the potential impact of his proclamations on the faith of his followers. Pastor Gino Jennings has taken center stage in the religious gossip by boldly standing against T.D. Jakes, emphasizing his commitment to the truth. Jennings doesn't mince words as he asserts his strong stance against Jakes. The gossip mill goes into overdrive as we catch wind of the clash between these two prominent figures. Using terms like bold stance implies a fearless confrontation, setting the stage for a potentially scandalous showdown within the religious realm. The gossip gains momentum as Jennings positions himself as a paragon of truth, contrasting his steadfast commitment with what he perceives as potential shortcomings in Jakes' leadership. This adds a layer of drama and sparks curiosity about the nature of these alleged controversies and conflicts simmering within the religious community. By emphasizing his commitment to the truth, Jennings asserts his moral high ground and hints at a narrative of righteousness versus potential wrongdoing. The gossipy undertones suggest that there might be more beneath the surface of the religious community's facade, with Jennings positioning himself as a truth crusader amidst a backdrop of potential controversies. The use of terms like unwavering commitment adds a touch of sensationalism to the gossip. It implies that Jennings is not just making casual observations, but is deeply invested in upholding what he deems as the invincible truth. This choice of language creates an aura of intensity, leaving us eager to uncover the specifics of the alleged conflicts brewing within the religious community. The revelation sets the stage for a potential clash of titans, with Jennings and Jakes positioned as central figures in a religious drama. The gossip about conflicts within the religious community takes on a personal dimension, inviting all of us to pick sides and form opinions about the righteousness of each figure involved. As the gossip surrounding Gino Jennings's strong stance unfolds, the religious community finds itself at the center of speculation. We are left wondering about the nature of the conflicts, the controversies at play, and the potential impact on the community's dynamics. Which revelation from Pastor Gino Jennings surprised you the most? T.D. Jakes' alleged questionable associations, the integration of secular elements in the church, or the accusations of false proclamations? And do you think this will lead to significant controversies within the religious community? Let us know in the comments.